In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a continuous variable. It's going to take annual income. And let's make sure it is a continuous variable, right? It says scale. Let's double check. There's annual income, right? So this is a regular scale continuous variable ratio. We're going to turn it into either a categorical variable or a level variable, which is also called an ordinal variable. And what shall we do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to transform. I'm going to recode that into a different variable. So we're going to have a continuous age variable, but then we're also going to have an ordinal age variable. So first thing I do is stick in the annual income and we have to name it. I'm going to call it annual underscore income underscore level. I'm going to cut and paste it. I'm going to click change. Change. Old and new values. Okay, this is us. So I'm going to do them by $20,000 increments. So the first thing I'm going to do is the lowest range through the value. So the lowest range is going to be from 0 up to 20,000. We're going to mark them with a 1. Add. And then the next range is going to be, right, we just click the range here. We're going to pick 20,001. Did I get that right? Uh, yeah. Up to 30,000. I'm sorry, 40,000. We're doing 20,000 ranges. And that's going to be our 2. Add. And then four, one, two, three, one, forty thousand and one up to sixty thousand. Did I get it right? Yep, got it right. That's going to be our three. Add. And let's see, we're going to do our six, one, two, three, one. Sixty thousand one through eighty thousand. We're going to make that our four. And in anything over 80,000, right, we'll do this one, right? Range through the highest. So the last one is the value through the highest. So the, the last value is one, eight, one, two, three, one, right? So 80,000 and one dollar up to the highest, whatever the highest is, that's going to be our five. Add. So let's double check. We got the lowest up to the highest. One, two, three, four, five. So now we're going to have five levels of annual income. Let's get this over so you can see it all. <laughs> and we're going to go back to the data set. And any new variable you make will be the last one on the bottom. So go to variable view. Let's go all the way over. Annual income level. Let's open it up so you can see it a little bit. Level. That's this guy, right? Now let's look at the, we're going to put those in there, right? You, we have to put the values in there, right? One is under 20,000. Two is between 20,000 to 40,000. Three is what was it? Forty thousand and one up to sixty thousand. And forgive my commas here. And then number four is sixty thousand and one up through eighty thousand. change it to a five now we had it right so here we go so we we name the levels so we're going to change this to you can leave it as a nominal if you want 
but it's in, in reality it's an ordinal scale right the higher the number the stronger the characteristic so in this case the higher the number the more money they make but now let's take a look at these guys and there they all are right see so they're in different different levels different categories if you'd like and we don't need the these guys okay so let's do it again and there they are so real quick I want to see how many are in each group I could go to analyze descriptives frequencies stick in my new variable and then go to charts and give me a bar chart right this will tell me how many people are in each group bam okay and there it is right there's how many in each group that's a table and this is a this is a graph here let me move it over so you can see the whole thing so it looks like most of the people in this data set earn between 20 and 40,000 but that's it hope it helps